fighting this dead gum weather now. <clears throat> All my parts get in. This, the rain comes at the same time. And I think I burned my compressor up last night. How to turn a four hour project into a four day project. First, find an ugly security door and take it off the house. Cut it all up. Clean up what you want to save. Go buy some metal from, you know, uh, metal general up the road. Bring it back, scratch your head, and do no, do no plans whatsoever. I'm thinking about how I can weld those on the front of my Mad Max vehicle that I'm going to build one day. Now this is from a desk that I bought that was a corner desk, and that big piece of glass was just an area where crap got stuck that I couldn't reach. So I found a piece of metal for it to sit in, and I usually grab a ruler about this time to make me make it look like I know what I'm doing when other people are, you know, on looking. There's some flat bar I plan on using. That stuff was cheap. You get about 20 foot of that for six bucks. Go back over and examine the glass again. Just knowing this is only gonna take four hours once I get started. Do the measurements again because after I measure something once, I forget, so I gotta keep going back. That's probably one of the things that makes my time just keep growing. See, I'm not even close to where the true measurement, I'm eight inches over the side of it, so I have no idea what I'm doing. I walk around the shop, scratching my head, trying to find a place to work. Oh, wait a minute, I actually had gotten something done by this point. We did the top yesterday, today we did the web. Uh, we did it like basket weaving. Uh, that's, they taught me that how to, how to do that in school. And uh, this here is actually a uh, primer filler after you get everything sanded down and wiped down with a good lacquer thinner. I got uh, my token hippie. Um, he's taping off the glass so he doesn't have to clean it later on my overspray. I did tack each one of these joints uh, because this half inch uh, bar will uh, bend the hard way. And there's that primer filler from Rust Oleum. You can do a couple of coats sanding in between and it fills all the little holes and, and scratch marks. And uh, now the door in the house is red and I've got some of that red left over. So guess what that hippie's doing tomorrow? Yep, you got it. He's painting this door by hand with a brush because I don't want to spend seven bucks on a can of spray paint. <laughs> 